second drug test is now being requested for that teenager accused of viciously attacking a Coleraine High School teacher. Now this comes after prosecutors say the first test revealed that he only had trace amounts of THC in his system at the time of that attack. And WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joining us now with the very latest on the investigation and an update. It didn't sound like a great one on this teacher's condition. Yeah, you know, Mike, we're hearing now for the first time an update, first time in a long time. We knew since this happened that the teacher suffered a brain injury, a severe brain injury. But today, Prosecutor Melissa Powers went into detail about the 60 year old's injuries. A Coleraine High School teacher oh still not back in the classroom after being attacked nearly two months ago. Um, at one point, she couldn't, she couldn't eat on her own, breathe on her own, walk on her own. She was completely incapacitated um, from this beating. That's how severe the beating was. Powers says the 60-year-old was beaten repeatedly in the head. To the point she was unconscious, had to have surgery, um, had to have her skull cap removed to prevent the swelling of the brain. She's still in rehab. The 15-year-old student accused of assaulting the teacher admitted he took hits off another student's vape prior to the assault. Kept hearing echoes and echoes. And every time I talk, I couldn't understand. Investigators originally thought he ingested an unknown drug. But today, we learned the results of his toxicology report. And the results are that he wouldn't have even been impaired. There was some level, a trace amount of THC metabolite in his blood and his urine, but not enough that would even impair him to operate a motor vehicle. I have no reason to doubt that test, but as part of my due diligence and representation of my client, I'm going to seek a separate independent test of the Hamilton County Coroner's Office. Regardless of the results, Clyde Bennett says the teen should be tried as a juvenile and not as an adult. He's still a 15 year old man with no criminal record, so this case should not be bound over. Prosecutors are pushing for this case to be bound over. Ultimately, a judge will make that ruling. A hearing on that has been scheduled for April 19th. The judge today did grant Clyde Bennett's request to get an independent test of his client's blood. Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.